Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing my Inktober sketchbook from this year. And not much else to say about that, just gonna show it. So here's the actual sketchbook. Also, I'm sorry about this glare right here. Uh, it's early in the morning, so it's very bright right there. <laughs> um, so here is my sketchbook. If you want to see me decorate this, you can look at a video I posted earlier. I have the Inktober 2023 playlist at the end of the video, so you can just look through those and see what you want to watch. Um, this washi tape is from Bailey J. This washi tape and this washi tape are from Mira Byler. Um, the rest are just like from Michaels and like gifts and stuff. So, yeah. And I got this sticker off Timu. I do not shop on Timu anymore after I found out they're starting to steal people's credit card information. So, uh, yeah, no, I don't need my credit card floating around China. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the book, and we're just gonna get into it. So, here is my prompt list. I used Nonsense Tober prompt list. I'll pop it on the screen so you can see who made it, because I do not know the name of the person who made it. Um... I did, however, forget to add one when I made it, so I have this just written down here because I accidentally made 28, what was supposed to be 29, so pff, oops. Also, I did not mark that last, those last two off, so while we're here, I feel like every year it's like, oh yeah, I didn't mark off the last bit of my prompt list. Uh, here we go. <laughs> so yeah, I did complete it. Um, <laughs> And um, over here is just swatches, seeing what works on this paper, seeing what doesn't, also seeing how the inks I was gonna use would work. And then we're just gonna start here. I believe this was pumpkin and cage, right? Yeah, pumpkin and cage. I'm probably not gonna say all the prompts because right now I don't remember what they all are and I don't feel like looking. <laughs> but, um, this was Cajun Pumpkin. Um, strong start, I would say. I sketched this one and the next one on my birthday, which was end of September. And then I didn't sketch anymore, and I was like, that's fine, because I kind of like the day-to-day -day feel of like making it all busy go. So, that's, <clears throat> this is the first one. Also, if you start hearing ra random meowing or scratching, I had to close the door because my cats are rambunctious this morning and they kept headbutting the camera and stuff. <laughs> so here is the next one. This is Cat in Autumn, I think. And I just drew a little cat popping out of a pumpkin with some leaves and mushrooms. It's supposed to be a black cat, but I made it more of a darker gray so you can see the line work, which... These first couple I did in dip pen, that one before I did in dip pen, this one I did in dip pen. I think I did normal pen for this one. This was fairy and piercings, I believe. Does it have any shiny on it? Eh, not really. Well, this bit's shiny. Um, I've never drawn like a punk rock looking thing before. I don't really draw piercings, I don't draw tattoos, so this was an interesting thing to draw. I didn't have to draw the tattoos, I just kind of wanted to see what would happen if I put like nature tattoos on a fairy, I thought that'd be funny. Um, and the hairstyle, I looked up like 80s rocker hair and I did my best to replicate it, but... I don't know how good I did, but I think it came out okay. I kind of always draw heads way too big and hands way too small, but that's okay. We're going to call it a style. And this one, I know butterflies was one of the prompts. What was the other one? Butterfly and crown. So here's a picture of Audrey. If you've seen my Inktobers the past couple of years, you probably know who Audrey is. Haven't done a whole lot of her in color, but um, I think last year I drew a picture of her in color, I think. Um, so it, it was crown and butterfly. I was going to draw a, a crown made out of butterflies, but I figured that's kind of what everyone would probably draw. 
So I just drew her with her flower crown, but there's also butterflies like all over her. And her eyes aren't purely white because she's not necessarily like being hypnotized in this one. Uh, for those who don't know, she normally has blank white eyes and looks very concerned because I put this poor character through the mill. She's always getting kidnapped by something, scared by something, hypnotized by something, almost eaten. I don't know. She's she, she just... This poor character just has it really rough. She's also a potential video game character, but that'll be years from now because I want to learn how to do a lot of stuff before I make the game that will go with her. But for now, she's just my Inktober character. And this picture fought back. Also, if you use India ink, do not use marker on top of the India ink. Because you might not be able to see, but there's a smudge right there. We're going to pretend that's the next shadow. Yeah, uh, also there's a smudge on her face, too. Yeah, that's, um, alcohol markers and India ink. Do mix in the fact that they smudge. Don't, they don't mix in the fact that they shouldn't work together. Don't use those. Um, I think this was key and wings, so I've drawn this heart locket thing before a couple of times over the years. It was originally drawn uh, for like a poem book I was going to make, but then I never made the poem book, but I always kind of stood attached to the blue heart locket thing, so... <coughs> I just put a bunch of keys with the blue heart locket and it has wings because why not? <laughs> I do like the hatching on it though. I don't know if you can see it right here, the hatching. I like the hatching. And then this one, I think was snail and wand. So I made a little snail wizard. I love him. Can you see the shiny bit? It's kind of hard. There we go, I think. I think. I don't know. But here's the what I did for that. And I really like this one. This is one of my favorites. I think it's really cute. I like that his hat is on his gel and on his head. It makes it look kind of <laughs> kind of cute. He looks kind of like something you would see in a video game. Like like you're, you're going to go somewhere to buy like potions or something and he has a little hat. <laughs> um, this one is um... Okay, this is a fan art of an album art of a side project for Owl City. So the name of the album is Sky Sailing and Airplane Carry Me to Bed. And the prompt, I believe, was Paper Airplane and something else. Let me see. Paper Airplane and Magic. That's what it was. So I find the album magical. <laughs> And I wanted to make it look kind of surreal looking. Maybe it's not necessarily magic, but I like it. This is one. Of, this is another one of my favorites. Um, I never done like this abstracty stuff like this here, and like you know, popping out and in. Uh, a lot of this is references to songs in the album, uh, and also to the album cover itself. If I remember, I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see what I'm referencing from. Very good album, by the way, if you like kind of calm music. Most of the songs are very calm. Uh, yeah, this is a fan art of a, a album art of a side project. <laughs> but I really like this one. Uh, this one was... What was it? Fire and something else. I don't remember what that one was. Fire and Creature, that's what it was. Fire and Creature. And, like, she's technically a creature. She's a bee person. So, I drew Fuega with her fire powers and her sword and, you know. If you don't know this character, I made a whole animatic based around this character. Please watch it. It took me, like, two years to make. <laughs> um, little ink smudge right there, which I don't like. But you can't use white pen to get rid of it because it's brown paper. So, you just kind of deal with it. Uh... Yeah, so I just drew Fuega. <laughs> Haven't drawn her in like a year or two. Uh, this one was Book and Water. Actually, the Fuega one on this one has a live stream on here if you want to see me do it live. Um, the coloring and inking, not the sketches. The sketches I think I had done beforehand. I think this one I edited the sketch a bit on the stream. But, um... 
My idea was it's kind of like the book's coming to life and everything's coming out of the book. Kind of like if you've seen Treasure Planet in the beginning of the movie where Jim Hawkins is watching the storybook thing going on. Like his like little Treasure Planet book and now it comes up to, up to life. Kind of like that, but like with, with water. <laughs> and I just kind of tossed a mermaid in there because why not? And this one was bones and costume, I think. And I made like a kind of fantasy tribal girl, I guess. This picture just felt like it needed to be anime style. I don't know. So that's why she has the super anime eyes. Uh, mouth not so much, but there's shiny in here. If I could get it that way, everything was glary. Can I like make it so you only see the shiny bit? Yeah, I can't really make it so you see the shiny. Well, a lot of these pictures have shiny on it, but I can't really show it because the light's right there. <laughs> um, but trust me, there's a lot of shiny. But this is shiny, this is shiny. I think her eyes are a little shiny. So the earrings are shiny. Little bobs on the... A lot of this stuff's shiny, but I can't... The, the, the light is pointing against me today. So, you'll take my word for it. But this... Picture here. I'm another one of my favorites. I like how it looks very dark, but very, very not wholesome, but like not dark. Like she looks like she's a really nice girl, and she just has this giant skull on her head, and just a spear with a skull going through it. Like I'm cute, but we'll fight. <laughs> oh, and this one has a video. This one has a video. Um. This is my potion owl. I've told the story on the video for this, but basically I had a coloring book I was working on, never finished, and this was one of the favorite pictures, so I redrew it for Inktober to actually finish it. And I'm really proud of how this one came out. I think my favorite thing out of all of it is the potion bottles in the background, so it looks like there's still more that you can't really see. I like those. Um, also, I did my best to have it look glowy. It's really hard to do with only markers and watercolor, which you're not supposed to use on this, but it handled it well enough. Uh, probably shouldn't soak it as much as I did because the paper almost made a hole a couple times, but I really like this one. It's another one of my favorites and also my boyfriend's favorite. I, I've been showing him as I go and I showed him like all of them last night and he was like, that's one's my favorite. So his favorite's the owl. It's one of my favorites too. So really happy how this turned out. Uh, then, because I was also catching up, I, I just I just drew Litwick for, I think it's Ghost and Candle. So it's not that interesting of a picture, but Litwick's still cute. I like Litwick. <laughs> and then, I don't remember what this one was. Uh, let's see. Wolf and Scar. That's what it was. So the wolf has a little scar in its eye. And I put like a evening primrose and a moon and stuff so like it's not that interesting I guess but <laughs> it's very pretty purple also I had to do this because Litwick bled through this page because my page I put behind I put behind two pages instead of one so the purple bled through and I kind of use the purple to like cover it up so you can't really tell but um this was wolf and scar and then this one was Elf and Treasure. He just, like, he found some treasure in a treasure chest somewhere. He's supposed to be, like, a little young pirate. He doesn't have, like, an eye patch or lost limbs or anything yet. He's just kind of wide-eyed and wants to find some treasure. He's not really in, in it for anything else. Um, had a great time drawing all those coins and things. <laughs> um, I like how this one turned out. Um... Not a hundred percent, but I love the treasure chest. It's just he seems a little boring compared to the treasure chest, but I guess that's kind of okay since treasure is kind of like more of a focal point than the elf part. It was, I'm pretty sure it was elf and treasure, so. Yeah. <laughs> and then this was, I think it was wings and moon, so I did a lunar moth. Very happy the lunar moth. These are all shiny, but like I said, the the sun is fighting back. Um, <laughs> let me see if I can make it so it doesn't fight back as bad. It 
helps a little bit. I mean, it's still blown up, but you can tell more what's shiny and what's not. So I'm going to go back and show you some of the shiny ones that I like. Um, this one. There you go. See what's like brighter? That's where all the shiny stuff is. And here has some shiny bits. You can, see, you can see what like what gets really bright. That's like all the shiny like watercolor and stuff I used. Okay, so let's go back to this one. Uh, these stars are shiny, and I have some shiny bits on the wings. Uh, see if it'll work. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see where it's shiny, where it's not. There you go. So yeah, Lunar Moss for the wings, because it has wings and moon. And then... This was Foxtail and... Foxtail and Horns, that's what it was. Foxtail and Horns. So I did like a little fox, nature bright spirit thing I don't know um, has a little bird's nest over here it has a little chrysalis over here <laughs> a little butterfly in its tail this took me so long to draw because I do not like drawing animals with muzzles I love animals with muzzles like I have two cats I love puppies kittens dogs foxes wolves but I hate drawing muzzles the wolf before I also didn't enjoy drawing that either because I don't like muscles like the rest of his body was fine it's just the face the face was hard I didn't like drawing the face but um I think he came out cute overall though uh this one was uh I think it was I think it was witch and smoke I think so my idea behind this, this is also one of my less favorite ones it's very messy um my idea for this was she's a pumpkin witch and she has holes on the side of her head for the smoke for the candles to come out that keep her alive i guess so that's smoke coming out of the side of her ears but it looks like it's hair that was the idea i was going for there's also a shiny to it let's see if we can get it to catch here we go Whee! So yeah, that was my idea for this one. Not my favorite drawing, but it is a cool design. So, yeah, she has no legs because she's kind of just floating there. So, she's kind of like a scarecrow, I guess, because like her hands look very noodly and stuff. And this was, I think it was bee and broom or something like that. So, just a little bee sweeping. Just a little bee doing, doing little bee things. I like the little bee. The little bee's cute. Um, another picture of Audrey. I only did two this year, I'm pretty sure. Um, so this was Rabbit Ears and Spell. So I figured, let's see if you can, it's too bright for the little, little bits. Okay, kind of see it. So what I did was I made her very, like, monotone. I think it's the word's called monochrome, monotone, whatever the word is. And my idea was she found a magic hat and it transferred her into the bunny that lives in the hat. So the little like swirls and bits around here is supposed to be like the magic taking effect. And she's like, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> so she's turning into a bunny. That's why the hat isn't on her head. It's kind of floating there. Um, I, I, I have a fun time with Audrey. I feel bad for Audrey, but also, I don't know. Something about her character is fun to draw. Maybe it's just a maybe she's just a vent character. I don't know. <laughs> I think this was I think this was hat and flowers. So I just drew a little girl. She looks kind of like Anne from Green Gables. Now that I look at her, um, that wasn't the intention, but she kind of does look like Anne from Green Gables. Uh, so she just has a hat with some flowers and a little basket of flowers, and she just kind of living her best life. Um, with a, with a butterfly. 
Not much thought went into this. I just wanted to like have a cute little girl with a hat and some braids. And then now that I look at it, she looks like Anne from Green Gables. So, yay. <laughs> um, this was reflection, but I don't remember what the other word was. So let's see. Oh, it was moth wings and stars, not moth wings and moon. And that was moon and reflections. Okay, so the moth was moth wings and stars, not moth and moon. Um, so this was moon and reflection, and there's a bunch of starry bits in it. Um, this took me like maybe 30 minutes, 40 at most, to just whip out real quick. All of these I got done pretty fast, but like this one I got done really super fast. And for some reason, people like this one. Um, I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not my favorite. Probably because I know how quick it was. But people seem to like it, so there's that. Um, <laughs> the white's kind of blowing out a little bit, even though I closed the blinds and everything. But, um, yeah. And this was supposed to be third eye and spirit. I'm not one to draw spirits. So, um, I just kind of made something up. So this is supposed to be like a little forest protector spirit thing in the shape of a bunny. But it also has like stick horns and a leaf and a flower and like leafy features on its face and body. I don't know. Um, I went for a very traditional Inktober piece with this one. No colors, just, just hatching and ballpoint pen to make toned areas and stuff. Which was actually kind of fun. I kind of miss doing Inktobers like this. It's just whenever I go to do it, I feel like I should color it, even though I don't have to. Because <laughs> I didn't color them for years. This is a very new trend with me. But um, I actually really like this one, even though it's weird. But I like it anyway. It's definitely different. And then this one was mermaid and glasses. So I just drew a little mermaid girl with glasses and she's reading the little mermaid i don't know which version she's reading um hopefully not the original because the original one is sad she won't be smiling very long <laughs> but um can you see the little shiny it's kind of hard yeah it's kind of hard to see the shiny uh the shiny would be her glasses and around the bubbles but I like this one. I think this one's cute. I love the color palette. I like that her nice brown skin contrast with the pretty colors. And these three colors are like one of my favorite color combos. It's pink, like this minty green, tealish color, and pink. I like those three colors together. So, very nice color scheme. I love the color scheme on this one. Um, this one was mushroom and vest. So, Parasolia has come to say hello. Um, <clears throat> instead of her normal three, uh, three leaves here, instead I put, like, one of the leaves behind, and then I made, like, a little leafy, like, vest type thing going on. I figured it's getting colder outside, maybe she would have a different group of leaves to keep warm, because the other one's very, very not covering everything, so I would say that this would be more for, like, autumn to, like, keep warm, because her other one's very sp summary stay cool i guess uh so i did parasolia it's been a while since i drew parasolia so every time i draw her if i don't draw her consistently she has a different shape face so <laughs> depending what game i make that she might get a, a set style but we'll see <laughs> um i drew this character and it was afro hair and stardust, I think. Um, so I drew my character Eunicia. I've only drawn her twice, and one was for uh, making a draw that's in your style, which only one person participated in. <laughs> and then I did it not, uh, did her again this year for a Zakira art prompt. So I just figured, out why not? I never drew traditionally before, which was actually very hard to do. Cause I'm used to like using symmetry tools and stuff to make her look not rough looking but I like the color scheme her face could use a little work um, it looks a little squished but <laughs> that's okay 
this one is one of my least favorite ones, but I guess he's kind of cute. This was supposed to be feathers and monster, I think. So I made like a little feather frog monster thing. <laughs> Not my favorite. He just kind of was thrown together real quick. <clears throat> but um, he's okay. And then this one is leaves and water. I was going to draw a bunch of autumn leaves and water, which in hindsight would have been a very pretty picture. But um, I figured a water lily is technically a giant leaf with a flower on it. So what if I do that abstract thingy again with the water? But I have like the less abstracty looking flower and then this here. Uh, it's not my favorite favorite, but I do think the idea is cool. I just wish it was executed a little better. But this is going towards the end of October, so I started to get tired. <laughs> and then this one is, I think it's fox and light, but it's kind of hard to see the light bit. But the shiny watercolor is all around it, which is supposed to be the light bit. But why are you blowing out like that? But yeah. Around here, this is all shiny watercolor, but it wants to blow out. Oh, if I do it like this, you can kind of tell that it's shiny. Uh, so yeah, another muzzle. Was not a fan of the muzzle, but I got it. I got there eventually. <laughs> and then this one was, I put down tattoos or royalty because it was shorter to fit on the little printing label, but it was actually tattoos and prince slash princess um my friend suggested because i didn't know what to do just draw kita because kita is like my favorite princess um favorite disney princess and then we have anastasia uh, but um so i just drew up a little portrait of kita the one eye is a little weird but that's okay i like how it turned out she has that very kita smirk on her face <laughs> And I like how the white pops. And I made the background blue because this is actually the color of the paper. I figured it was a nice color for her skin. So I just left it. There's also shiny bits here. There you go. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of tell. The earring, this bit, and the tat facial tattoos. Um, I really like this one. Probably just because I love Kita. But um, I like this one. I think her hair came out pretty well considering it was on gray. Also, the white I've been using for big areas is either white acrylic paint or white Posca pens, which is basically a paint pen. And when it's really thin lines, it's most likely gonna be a white gel pen. This one was Star and Eye Patch. I took that very literally and ended up looking like a Mario character. I affectionately call him Mr. Luma. Uh, my friend said it also could be a Cuphead character, so I, I can see both. <laughs> uh, I kind of like him, though. He's very different to what I would normally draw. <laughs> uh, but I definitely took Eye Patch and Star very, very literally. And he has pierced points, I guess. He doesn't have hair, so pierced points. Um, I, I like him. I think he'd be interesting in some kind of like video game or something. And we come to the last page. Which is... Your own two words, and my two words I picked were Apathy Cat. Apathy Cat has been a consistent Inktober character throughout the years. My friend and I made him. So, Apathy Cat doesn't care about your sugary confections. Screw those confections. He wants a tuna. And, uh, he, and he's uh, he just living his best cat life, just knocking over the, the basket of candy that was meant to be there for people to grab take one but he said he said no I'm gonna knock it over because he's a cat and cats don't care <laughs> which isn't actually true my cat's a good boy but um <laughs> that's my inktober I have I think 18 pages left in this book so I'll either save it for a challenge next year or I might just cut the pages out to have some tan paper on hand. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of this book. I was going to do Huevember, but there's other things I want to do, so I'm not going to have time to do all of it. So, no Huevember. Um, 
I did have an idea to just do some quick uh, digital drawings of Pikmin because I've, I have been playing Pikmin 4 and they're very colorful and just like make some Pikmin drawings but I don't think I'm gonna end up doing that but if I do that'll be fun uh, so there's all my pictures it's definitely a much more creative Inktober than in the past so you tell me what your favorites were. That'd be fun. Let's talk about it. Um, I hope you had a good Inktober if you did it, or if you did OC Tober, Draw Tober. I, I did technically did Nonsense Tober, um, but it was Inktober too. I only used ink products except for watercolor and a white Posca. I didn't use any color pencils or anything. Um, Whatever it is that you did, if you did a challenge, I hope you had fun. And even if you didn't do a challenge, I hope your beginning of autumn was nice. I hope you stood safe on Halloween yesterday. Um, get lots of candy. I want candy. I really want candy. I don't have no candy. <laughs> uh, and I will see you all later. Don't know what video will be next, so I'll see you all later.